Welcome to Jeeping with Sheriff Judd on behalf of the Polk Sheriff Charities. This year we have over 2,200 Jeeps registered. Man, if you love Jeeps, we've got scenery, we've got some great obstacle courses, we've got a great family atmosphere. But if you love Jeep, you've got anything you want to try on your Jeep. You can start as a beginner or you can go to advanced. And no matter where you're at, somebody's always trying to help you improve or bring you along to be a part of their group. This whole thing starts about August. It starts getting intensive in November. The Orlando Jeep Club comes out and starts laying out the trails. Then we start 1st of January building the course. The hardest part about building a course, especially this one, is you've got a lot of experienced Jeep people that know their equipment. The hardest thing is building it so it's challenging for them, yet safe. we got to make it safe so that nobody gets hurt. We use some dirt, pipe, telephone poles, rock. We make it progressively more difficult as you go through the course. It's kind of like putting together a jigsaw puzzle. So this is the advanced course for the Jeeps that are modified. They'll come through the stairs, they'll come through this obstacle, go up the poles, come around here. We've got all these rocks that we've got to put in just the right place. We want to make it where they have to crawl, so they're going to have to really maneuver their Jeep right and pull themselves up here. It takes a lot of equipment, a lot of operators, and a lot of diesel fuel to come and run the equipment to build the courses. Our number one piece of equipment, of course, is the Sanning 265 excavator from Newman Tractor. They've been so faithful in, in providing this over the years. And it's used to build the obstacles, rescue off the advanced course when people break down or if they get stuck, we can lift them off with this piece of equipment. We have a bulldozer, the front end loader, mowers, multiple tractors, so we can build the obstacles, move pipe, lift material, grade roads, and pull people out of our mud pit. I was introduced to the Sony machine when I started doing Jeep with Judd and I met Newman Tractor and they gave me one to use out here and there's three things that I really like about the Sani. Number one is it's got power, necessary power that I need. It's got quick response so the hydraulics are quick and they're smooth and the third thing is the fuel consumption. With the Cummins engine that it has, it's done well for me. I had my own company where I would do dirt work and I've run Komatsu's, Caterpillar's and John Deere's as well and they're okay in their own right. I've had the 80, 215 and the 265 Sani and I would use it over to any, any of the others. And I think these guys that are stuck on brands ought to really consider giving it a shot because I think they'd be pleasantly surprised at what they're gonna get. I've had the privilege since 2016 to work with Newman Tractor here in Bartow. They treat you like family. If you have a problem, they go out of their way to make sure they get it taken care of. I've been really happy with Newman Tractor, not just as a sponsor here at Jeeping with Judd, but personally using their equipment and their services. Truth is, there's a lot of hard work that goes into this thing. The reason I do it is because it accomplishes so much. Number one, it provides resources, a high amount of resources for the Polk Share of Charities. The second thing is it has a positive economic impact on the community. And third, there's nothing like seeing people laughing and smiling and enjoying themselves knowing that you are one of the ones that created the whole scenario for them to be able to do it. And this is probably one of the greatest family events, but one of the greatest Jeep events where everybody has one common theme, everybody loves their Jeep. And you'll love it even more when you leave.